guys, Jess here, and before this episode of Diaries begins, I would like to make the announcement that we now have a Minecraft Diaries poster. As you can see, it is absolutely beautiful, and it comes in two different sizes. That's right, two different sizes, and it is now available. You can check out the description down below, and we're just excited to launch this because this is the first poster, and it just looks so beautiful. Look at it! Anyway, guys, this is just a quick announcement. I love you all. Thank you so much for your support, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode, and I hope you enjoy this one. Until then, take care. Bye! Look at the poster! <laughs> it's so pretty! I see. So you believe the Shadow Knights are looking for Alina? We can't take that chance. I'm sorry, Hyria. I didn't know where else to take them. Don't worry. Alina and Lilith can stay with me for as long as you'd like. <sighs> Thank you so much, Hyria. I know it's an inconvenience, but... Athmau. You could never inconvenience me. I'm sure that the girls and I will have a wonderful- Oh no! Don't worry. I didn't like that base anyway. If you ladies will excuse me, I will go check on Alina and Lilith before they decide to inadvertently destroy the whole house. Alright, now what is with the ruckus? Girls making a mess for Hyria. <coughs> what? Alina, Lilith, oh, come back here. <laughs> My, those girls are spirited. I'm amazed that you can keep up, though I've always known your past self to be able to deal with children very well. Hyria, can I ask you a question about Irene? Mm. You can ask it, but I'm not sure I'll be able to answer the way you're hoping. You do remember that Irene, your past self, asked me not to tell you anything about her. She wanted you to find your own path in this new life. She didn't want you to make the same mistakes she made. Mistakes? What kind of mistakes? Hmm. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that you can only tell me so much, but you're the only person I can ask about this kind of thing. The only person I can trust with this. I've been having these visions of Irene. Visions? What kind of visions? Small visions of Irene's life. I've only had a couple, but they've all been about Shad. I see Shad and Irene together. When did these visions start? The first time it happened, it was back in the Yadrasil Forest. Shad's Heart of Darkness was calling out to me. Then it happened again, just... recently. In these visions, how do you feel? At first, it's weird, but then... I start to hear what she hears. I feel what she feels. It's like we're sharing the same experience. Like, I am her, and not at the same time. What have you seen? Shad. Shad? Yes. I saw when he and Irene met for the first time, as well as when he became a divine warrior. I see. It might be possible that there's something in Irene's relic causing this. If you remember, Irene separated you from her relic when she forced reincarnation on herself. It's possible that Irene placed some of her memories in her relic before separating them from her body and placing it into slumber. I've had her relic for years. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Why now? 
It's possible that it's Shad. Shad? I think it's safe to tell you this. I've told you before of how Shad fell from grace, and how Irene had to put him to an end. But before that, before they even became divine warriors, they had much more history than that. Why am I seeing this part of Irene's past? It's entirely possible Irene's relic and Shad are calling out to each other. That's the only thing I can think of. That's possible? From your travels, what knowledge have you gathered about these relics, Athmau? So far, that they were just given by Irene to the Divine Warriors. Why? Three years has only taught you that much? Well, I have been traveling around with two children. <laughs> Make that three. There is still much for you to learn about these divine gifts. Knowledge that I'm afraid I cannot tell you of. I understand. Thank you, Hyria. I'm always appreciative of the help you give. Not only as an advisor, but as a friend. I'm always grateful to be depended on, Athmau. Are you worried about Shad? I'm more worried about Alina. I know I can protect myself. Alina... can't. But she's just a child. She shouldn't have to carry this burden. Which is why I brought her to you. I will look after both of the girls as if they were my own. Thank you so much, Hyria. I know you have guarded the sacred forest for so many years. It's hard to get here, which is how I know they will be safe. I have one other favor to ask of you. Of course. I need to find Lucinda. Do you know where she is? Lucinda? Why do you need to find her? We don't have the best relationship, you know. <laughs> I know. But you're the only other person who might know her whereabouts. The last time I heard from Lucinda, she was back in Picoro. Hyria, you should know Picoro was attacked by Shadow Knights. Ugh. Now I see. We haven't heard from Lucinda or Haley since the attack. I thought you might tell me where Lucinda is. Then at least, that would help put my mind at ease. I wish I knew, but your guess is as good as mine. Knowing my daughter, she may not have even been in Picaro. I'm sure she wouldn't have allowed such an attack. Or even if she did, you'd hear about the fight she put up to protect it. True. Lucinda. She never could sit still for very long. She was always going somewhere. I pray you are right. Shadow Knights were responsible for the attack, so I'm not taking any chances. I'm going to Picaro Village. I won't stop you, but are you sure that's wise, child? I don't have much of a choice. I need to make sure Lucinda and Haley are alright. And if there are Shadow Knights wreaking havoc in the region, I need to know why they're here. I should do whatever I can to help. I can't just hide. It isn't right. I can't take Alina and Lilith with me. Which is why they're going to remain here while I head out. Hmm. Well, if you're going out, I think it's high time you changed your outfit. What? It's for your own safety. You'll be too easily recognized in your armor. That's true. Shad already saw me. Maybe I should change. Just to be safe. There's a sensible woman. Now why don't you head upstairs? I'll be up in a minute to help.
Are you sure about this, milady? I still think I should go with you. I need you to watch over the girls. Not only that, but Phoenix Drop is close by. Should you be needed there, I trust you can make it. But, Shad, Zane, the Shadow Knights, they're still out there. And with everything that's happened to Picaro. I have to do this. The people need me. I cannot take Alina and Lilith with me. They could be put in serious danger. I need you here for them, for me. You have a relic to defend everyone. You are those girls' last line of defense. But... It doesn't make sense for both of us to travel together with relics of power. There are places where we can put our power to use to help defend others. I understand. Very well. I'll safeguard Alina and Lilith. When I know it's safe here, I'll hit the Phoenix Drop and make sure everyone is safe. Thank you, Gareth. It is dangerous to travel alone. Take this. Oh, Hyria. You've already given me this armor. I can't... You can. And you will. But it looks so special. I... It's a communicator. Oh. Oh. <laughs> a communicator. I knew that. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you are. As long as you hold on to this amulet, we'll be able to reach each other. Thank you, Hyria. You've done so much for me. You're welcome. I'd be disappointed in myself if I hadn't. <laughs> By the way, I mean not to pry, but these clothes... I hadn't thought of you the type to keep such armor around. Why do you have these? <laughs> you know, I wasn't always old. I had my fair share of stylish clothes in my day, I'll have you know. You wore that? When did you age? Aren't you like over 900? <laughs> uh, I'll shut up now. Smart boy. <clears throat> now, if you need anything, anything at all, don't hesitate to contact us with your amulet. I could be right by your side in a moment's notice. Thank you, Gareth. Good luck, Afmo. You too. I know it won't be easy to take care of both Alina and Lilith while I'm gone. Uh, don't remind me. I'll do my best to survive. Don't worry. I have complete faith in you. Right. Stick. Alina, Lilith. I look it. <laughs> What's that you have there, girls? So I think. So I <laughs> Okay, okay, girls. Listen, Mommy wanted to tell you that she has to go out and see an old friend of hers. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Alina. But this time, Mommy is going alone. It's too dangerous for you to come with me this time. There's a bad man who wants to take Alina and split our family apart. And we can't let that happen, right? No. I be a man. Yeah. Wow. Look at you girls go. <laughs> Maybe you two should be the ones to protect Garth and Haria, not the other way around. We protect it. Oh, and Alina, one more thing. And this is important, okay? No sneaky. Please, for mommy. Okay. Thank you, sweetheart. And Lilith, I'm counting on you to look after your little sister. <laughs> Thank you, girls. Mommy is so proud of you. I love you both. I love I you. Love you. So, this is the refugee camp. Perhaps someone here has seen Haley or Lucinda even. It's a good place to start.
This is more difficult than I would have thought. After the Shadow Knights arrived, it was just a panic. The only thing everyone here agrees on is that at some point they were brought here by some kind of spell. Excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm trying to find someone. Do you happen to know where Lord Haley is? Lord Haley? No. Now, if you don't mind... Wait, it's you, isn't it? Hmm? It's you, Lady Irene! I knew you'd come to see us. Truth be told, I almost didn't recognize you. If I hadn't made the pilgrimage to Phoenix Trap before, I never would have known. Uh, I see. Well, please keep this between us. I don't want to cause a disturbance. Ah, say no more. I understand. Thank you. Now, if you don't know where Lord Haley is, maybe you could point me in the direction of Picaro? Certainly. It's just through that copse of trees. You can't miss it. It's the town that's destroyed and smoldering. Thanks again. I'm off to find- uh, Lady Irene? Yes? Before you go, could you heal us? We've all heard stories about your healing ability. It would be an honor to have you bless us. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I can't. But, but you're Lady Irene, the matron. Everyone knows about your ability to heal the sick and wounded. I I'm sorry. I, I have to go. What was I thinking? Some matron I am. I can't even heal anybody. Ever since the last time. It's gonna be okay. I can't explain this to anyone. They all think so highly of me. They wouldn't understand. I don't have the ability to heal like I once did. Even then, I couldn't control it. Would their faith be shaken if they knew? Uh, 